hello and thank you very much for the opportunity to talk about the SCORE Working Group 157, Metazogene, toward a new global view of marine, bio, marine zooplankton biodiversity based on DNA metabarcoding and reference DNA sequence databases. And I'm delighted to be here today. This uh, talk will be a bit too long and a bit too fast. I hope you'll be able to get a sense for what we're doing uh, and our accomplishments to date. I'd like to uh, call out our 23 members from 19 countries and especially my uh, vice co-chairs, um, Katja Pinenberg and Senia Kosobakova, and I'll have more to say about them shortly. Of course, we have not met in person since 2020, but we look forward to doing that again. Um, and I'll be talking more about what we've accomplished online. Metazogene has a primary focus on the holozooplankton, those animals that drift with the ocean currents. Um, our primary goal is integrative molecular morphological taxonomic analysis of marine zooplankton diversity throughout the global ocean, which is an important issue. Um, our terms of reference are to create an open access web portal for DNA barcodes, design an optimal DNA barcoding pipeline, and to develop best practices, uh, a magic word, best practices for DNA metabarcoding of zooplankton diversity. If, uh, for those of you who may not be uh, familiar with the term of meta barcoding, it's like meta populations. It's barcoding of environmental samples. Um, it's made possible by high throughput DNA sequencing. Um, the, P the regions that we can sequence with high throughput sequencing are still short, uh, but many different gene regions are used. Uh, the barcode CO1 region, the 18S tree of life region, um, many different bioinformatics pipelines and many different approaches to statistical analysis are used. That's why um, uh, one of our challenges is best practices. Now, metabarcoding of zooplankton diversity um, is really complicated by the fact that the zooplankton assemblage itself is so diverse um, and phylogeographically, uh, systematically, um, you know, phylogenetically and systematically complex. Uh, you see here the um, uh, tree based on the 18S um, tree of life gene. It's a very short V9 hypervariable region on the left. Um, and you see on the right, a CO1 barcode tree um, where uh, we've identified species and looked for species relationships. Now these are um, uh, uh, long ago uh, investigations into barcodes and metabarcodes. Uh, which has been ongoing a long time, metazogene walked into a very complicated, um, very fast-moving field. Now, one of our first deliverables was to create a barcode atlas and database. Um, one of the Working Group 157 members, Todd O'Brien from NOAA Fisheries, um, is a database um, expert. Um, he put together an outstanding uh, new uh, resource for all um, people who are researchers who are aspiring to molecular analysis of zooplankton diversity, um, which is called the Metazogene Barcode Atlas and Database. It's now online, uh, updated monthly, um, includes data from all of the open source, um, as well as unpublished uh, Working Group 157. Um, and it's uh, an incredible resource. Now, the, the Metazogene Barcode Atlas and Database is designed to do additional things over the existing databases. Um, it tells you not only how many species have been barcoded, um, but it compares it to the available species in the region in that taxon to give you both completeness measures and prioritization. So this is Todd's summary showing that the MZG um, DB um, actually does, has some capacities that GenBank Bold and and combined with um, the OBIS copepod uh, resource that Todd oversees. Copepod is Coastal and Oceanic Plankton Ecology Production and Observation Database, very valuable resource. We announced the release of the reference database with a review paper, Open Access in Marine Biology. Um, the many, most of the authors are Metazogene members. Um, this is acknowledged specifically to Metazogene um, a score working with 157 and NSF um, and was really um, uh, intended to be kind of a, an announcement. 
Uh, in addition, we asked uh, working group members to announce the release of the database and the publication. Uh, SCORE helped uh, with uh, broad announcements in social media, as well as many of the working group members. And here's one, Silke Lachman um, had her institute, um, the Hemholz Institute for Functional Marine Biology at the University of Oldenburg, Germany, announce it through their newsletter. So word really got out, um, already cited, uh, very successful launch. Now, the other thing that, um, the other product um, in terms of publications from Metazogene Working Group 157 has been a special issue of the um, ICES Journal of Marine Science. For those of you who don't know ICES, that's a very good partner with us. Um, of 15 publications in this special issue, seven papers are co-authored uh, by Metazogene members. Um, we've also, um, Metazogene members have also served as co-chairs for uh, meeting sessions, very successful at ASLO 2021, uh, session 32, name that species toward a new global view of species diversity of marine zooplankton. And also at the ICES annual science conference, which was virtual in September, um, uh, Todd O'Brien was one of the co-chairs um, and uh, Todd and I both gave presentations. And then we have an upcoming ocean sciences meeting in 2022 in Hawaii, which will be hybrid and virtual, which is led by, um, among the co-chairs, two uh, working group members, Katja Pinenberg and Erica Getze. Um, and uh, we look forward to a really nice session there. Now, one of the priorities for SCORE, of course, is impacts on early career scientists. Um, we invite early career colleagues and students to all of our activities, meetings, special sessions, publications. They receive regular updates. And this is because, in fact, we've been unable to carry out the capacity building workshops that we had planned. But we are um, uh, proposing an early career symposium in association with our next meeting, which will be at the IC's annual science conference in Dublin, Ireland in September 2022. Now, I wanted to give a little bit of a profile, mostly to showcase the early career engagement. Um, this is my uh, lab activities and publications, all of them cite um, uh, Working Group 157 and SCORE, and my early career colleagues, Jennifer Questel, Paola Bartolona, and Alex Frenzel, um, have been co-authors, um, presenters. Uh, we really take this seriously. As do my co-chairs, Katja Pinenberg, um, from her position as the Naturalis Biodiversity Center is in an outstanding position to directly reach to the scientific community. Um, and she does this, uh, you can see here, uh, and please use these links uh, to follow some of these outstanding presentations, um, also including early career. The other uh, vice co-chair um, from uh, uh, Metazogene is Senia Kospakova at the Shurtsov Institute of Oceanology, Russian Academy of Sciences in Russia. Um, she recently led the Floating University for Early Career Scientists, which was an expedition to the high Arctic, um, resulting in publications totally engaged in outreach. I'm going to zip through quickly. Junior Harai, another working group member uh, from the University of Tokyo, is himself an early career scientist um, and engages his colleagues with successful publications. Um, uh, Maria Grazia Mazzacci from the Stazione Zoologica Antondorn in Italy um, has engaged her uh, early career uh, colleagues, including Aroli de Capua, who has also published. Um, and they've been uh, investigating the Mediterranean, so plank diversity. Um, Jenny Huggett from the Department of Environment, Forestry, and Fisheries in South Africa has engaged an amazing um, coordination of colleagues and an amazing support of early career scientists, including an invited presentation for the ASLO Aquatic Sciences meeting. So looking forward, um, uh, our next goal uh, for the year ahead is to focus on the best practices issue because metabarcoding um, has a, many, many different pipelines and many, many different approaches and we need to sort that out. As well, we're looking forward to the Metazogene Early Career Symposium uh, in September, 2022. That I'll acknowledge um, met all of my working group members. Uh, it's a wonderful group, very productive, very engaged. 
um, as well as partners in the International Council for Exploration of the Sea ICs, as well as a foundation in the Census of Marine Zooplankton funded by the Alfred P. Sloan Foundation. Thank you very much for your attention.